Hey there, ready to dive into the world of cyber shenanigans? Today we're talking directory traversal attacks. Alright, let's break it down. Imagine you've got a house with a bunch of rooms, all neatly locked. Now, a directory traversal attack is like finding a secret passage that lets you bypass all those locks and sneak into every room. In the digital world, this house is your web server, and the rooms are the different files and directories in it. Normally, you can only access specific rooms or files that the website owner wants you to see. But with a directory traversal attack, a hacker tricks the server into giving access to restricted files by using sneaky path names like dot 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 slash. So instead of just getting to the files in the public room, they might get into the private room where sensitive data is kept. Yikes, right? Now how do they do this? They insert special characters in the URL like dot 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 slash to move up and down the directory tree. For example, if you see a URL like www.example.com slash images slash dot dot slash config, that dot 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 slash part tells the server to backtrack, letting the hacker explore areas they shouldn't be in. To protect against this, web developers need to sanitize inputs, basically, clean up any suspicious characters and URLs, and always keep software up to date to patch any known vulnerabilities. So next time you think about cybersecurity, remember, keeping those digital doors locked tight is just as important as locking your home. Stay safe and happy coding. Want more cybersecurity tips like the video and stay one step ahead of the hackers.